In today's PvP challenge, Link and myself will only be allowed to kill monsters that appear on the wiki boss list. But that isn't all, you are only allowed to keep one loot from each boss that we kill. After three hours, we gear up with our drops, and then we fight. Three hours on the clock. And as always, weapon is going to be a very important one to go for. And um, I, I feel like I have to get my weapon from Vorkath, which hurts me a little bit because Vorkath is a good food dropper. But I do think it's important to secure that good weapon first. And with only three hours on the clock, we can't just camp like Scorpia and go for a Dragon Scimitar because chances are I probably won't get one in three hours. And even if I do, I can't round out the rest of my gear. Vorkath, I'm fairly certain I can either get a Dragon Battle Axe or a Dragon Longsword relatively quick. I mean, that's all I could hope for, really. This is going to be a pretty big RNG-based challenge. I'm going to set the timer as soon as I get the first hit on Vorkath. The, the real struggle with Vorkath is actually me being able to kill Vorkath without dying. Because every time I do one of these challenges, I die. Because the only time I kill Vorkath is actually when I do these challenges. So, fingers crossed. That's the real challenge here. So, both the Dragon Battle Axe and the Dragon Longsword are both 1 in 75. But there are two drop rolls for each drop. So, that halves it. But since I'm not picky on the longsword or the battle axe, to get either or, it's about 1 in 19. And I saw a dragon and I got excited, but it's not the dragon we need. Ooh, no food. That's a four kill trip though. For me, that's pretty good. Not what we need. Rune longsword. I'm definitely not going to take that. Definitely not going to take a rune long in the fight. We go again. This is going to be the 13th kill. And we're already 37 minutes in. Ah. Uh... Oh, I hate this. I I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh! <gasps> oh, oh, shit. Fuck, fuck. We can do those. Oh, my God. Do I do I leave? Oh, my God. Do I leave? Do I do the elite? Do I do the elite? Today's video is sponsored by something that's genuinely helped me out tremendously, and that's Factor 75. Factor 75 is a meal prep service that delivers food right to your door. We're talking about pre-prepared fresh meals that can be ready to eat in two minutes or less with a variety of menu options, including over 34 meals and over 36 add-ons, which is things like smoothies, shakes, and desserts. I personally love that everything is just so quick to make. It takes the guesswork out of everything, and it saves you so much time in the long run. And that leaves me with a lot more time to do anything I want. When I cook at home, just the cleanup process alone after a meal can take up to 30 minutes, and that is not a problem with Factor 75. And I know everyone here is a gamer, right? You'd get so much extra time gaming while not sacrificing healthy options for food. So drop the fast food and make a quick, nutritious meal and get back to gaming in no time. Keyword there is nutritious. Us gamers have to stay healthy. So I urge you all to give it a try. Either use my link down in the description or go to go.factor75.com and use code pogrargjune 50 for 50% 50 off your first box. And once you click, my description will live update to count all the purchases. That's P-O-G-R-A-R-G-H-J-U-N-5-0. And thank you so much to Factor75 for sponsoring today's video. All right, Bs and Gs, three hours of bossing. We can kill anything on the wiki that says uh, it's a boss. And Barrows is listed as a boss. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with this. The reason for it is we can take one item from any boss we want. So it means I effectively guarantee myself Barrows loot um, as long as I get a Barrows item in three hours, which would be insane if i didn't get an item in three hours of barrows in this setup um so i can guarantee myself a good item i think i can probably get like maybe three or four different items and then choose which of the drops that i want from that um so yeah that is what my plan is here and then to be honest it completely depends on what comes out of the chest um or what I want to take from the chest um, that is going to lead me on to my next bosses after that. So I don't really know exactly what style I want to go for. Um, for example, we've pulled like a, an Arim skirt. That's huge. We can then focus on trying to go for a magic route or something like that. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do it. And I'll show you the first chest. Let's see how it goes. Forgot to bring a switch for Arim. So we'll see how this goes. I still have a 69% chance to hit with 49 as my max hit. So yeah, that's absolutely fine. I might actually not even bother bringing anything else. That is just so quick. 
That's insane. Yeah, not one prayer drain in that whole thing. So, yeah, super easy. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do any KC because I'm not going to be taking runes from here. Because obviously, if I was like, okay, I'll take the deaths and the blood runes, then I'd have to move on because that would be taking some loot from this boss. Um, so, what I'm going to do is literally get to the center. I brought locks with me. I brought the locks with me. Okay, let's just kill you. I brought the uh, the strange lock picks with me so we can get straight into the center. And yeah, I'm just going to kill all the brothers and then just literally straight on. Move to the next one. So let's use this bad boy in there. And another one. I think this also negates needing to do the puzzle as well. It does. Incredible. Uh, not on him. And let's see. So what well, that took two and a half minutes to do a Barrow's Chest. And we get that strange icon, uh, which is the new thing, part of like the new mini quest or something. I thought we got an item. I'm not going to lie, guys. I saw that and thought, all right, this is going to be chest number 12. No item. Yeah, we're flying through the chests, but I haven't seen anything as of yet. And obviously, um, I am just piling up the runes here, but I can't bring these into the fight because otherwise... I would uh, be taking an item. So, yeah, just going to wait and see. <sighs> I feel like this is the route to go. Because if you get, like, a Darok's Plate Body, for example, the defense bonuses on that alone are worth, like, three rune items, you know? Like, if you just go and kill, I don't know, like, Zilliana and get, like, a Addy Plate Body or Rune Skirt or something and then get a Rune Full Helm somewhere else, like, yes, you're adding, like, slots, but, like those defense bonuses don't add up even close to some of the tank stuff here so just getting one like tank piece or arams i think that's the two things that i'm really looking for would be incredible all right here we go Ooh, i don't know if i really want that <sighs> mm, i'd rather a tank body or tank legs to be honest i think i'm gonna keep on going i mean it's, it's great to have but it, it's not worth wasting barrows on i don't think so yeah let's keep going and another chest uh oh, oh for fuck's sake <laughs> i don't know if i want those either can we stop getting the torag items please fuck out of those two i just don't know which i would take i gotta keep going i got to come on an hour 51 left oh Oh, Torag again? What the fuck is going on? I've nearly completed a whole set. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that's unreal. We can finally move on from Barrows. We got three items. Fuck's sake. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Which means since I'm using this drop, I cannot go back to Vorkath. But already 45 minutes spent. More than 45 minutes and I'm just thinking I can get weapons. Ooh, I can get a genie too, apparently. You know, this could be a nice classic case of the sun cost fallacy where it's actually better to still stay at Vorkath and just kind of bite the bullet that it took 45 minutes to even get this and just keep killing Vorkath to at least somewhat secure the fact that I would get a decent weapon. Obviously, it's not, you know, promised I could kill 500 Vorkath and not get what I want, but I'm thinking at it like this. I could do this clue and I should get something useful. Whether it's dragon weaponry, rune armor, food. I can make this 45 minutes worth it. Oh my God, we got the casket. We got the casket. Okay, there's actually like a one in five chance of getting a master clue. And I have a master clue in the bank. So I'm going to drop my master clue real quick on the floor. Then open this to see if I get a master. Because that, that's where the real money is. But... Hopefully we can pull a dragon weapon from the elite and we don't have to worry about all this master stuff. Okay, let's pray. We didn't just waste a whole bunch of time at Vorkath. Please, please, please. Oh my God. What is this? What is this, dude? Oh my God. Let's, I'm, I just wasted a master. I'm kind of stressed about that. But yo, oh, I'm fucking buzzing. I'm buzzing. It was worth it. The gamble paid off. This clue scroll literally has me doing Legends Quest again. I had to go all through these caves. And even this step alone was a three part clue. And uh, yeah, I guess that failing actually made it a bit quicker there. But uh, yeah, wow, this is time consuming. I know I already got lucky with the elite, but um, I'm really, really, really hoping we can get something good with this master. Otherwise we are wasting a bunch of time. 
And that looks like a relatively easy one. Nice. This could very well be the casket right now. Is the Vorkath saga going to be over? No, it's not. We go again. I forgot my blowpipe, but we're killing the double agent in style. Guys, this is going to be it. This is the last step. This is step eight. We can't get a step nine. So this will be the master casket. The Vorkath saga is over. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Only took just about an hour and a half. Let's see what we get. Let's do a little dance first. I have to. Where's the dance emote? We got to give it a little shimmy. <laughs> okay, that was not worth doing at all because we already had it. It's fine. It's fine. We do have the dragon longsword. Okay, next monster. Damn it. Nothing. No rune items. Three dragon longswords. Mmm, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, so I want to get some magic defense just in case Link goes magic. I don't think he will be going magic by any means, but it's always good to have it. Um, but I just noticed something. In my last clue, I actually did get Onyx Bolt Tips enchanted, 25 of them. And that could be something we could bring to the fight. We could easily, and I mean easily, get this Black D head body here. And then we could easily... Oh my gosh, maybe not so easily. Holy crap, he's already messing me up. But then we could easily get a rune crossbow from the crazy archaeologist, giving us a nice range build. Now, I don't know if I'll do that yet. I'm definitely going to go for the body. Let's see how many it takes us. Uh, it's 1 in 21. There it is. How many kills? 23 kills. It was just over drop rate. So, of course, that's the item we're locking in from the deranged arc. Uh, hour 18 minutes. I kind of want to go for the crossbow still, but I might actually swing uh, over to Falador and just get a strength ammy really, really fast on a giant mole. It's like 1 in 10 or something. Unfortunately, my timer just wasn't getting recorded for a couple of clips here, guys. So there is no timer, but don't worry. The timer was still ticking down. So uh, yeah, just let you know. All right, next boss I'm going to go for is Zolra. Uh, the reason for this is it's like a 1 in 10 chance to get 35 Manta Rays. Hey, there we go. The Manta Rays. 35 of them. Perfect. That took six kills or five. I don't know if I had one Zolra kill already um, in my Runelight Tracker because I, I feel like I've only done five. But anyway, five or six kills. One of the two. Happy days. We've got all our food sorted. Next up, we're going to do Vorkath to see if we can get one of the weapons that Vorkath dropped. Realistically, looking for a Dragon Longsword. If a Dragon Battle Axe drops, then maybe I'll mess with that. And again, if Dragon Plate Legs or the Dragon Plate Skirt pop up, where am I going? Often Nate is not. Uh, if either of those two pop up, the, uh, the the Plate Legs or Plate Skirt, then I might take those as well. Um, let's get ourselves over there. There we go. Let's see what we're going to get for the first drop. And we get rune dart tips, and yeah, nothing that I want. Absolutely nothing I want there. Ooh, we got a clue scroll. The problem is, if I take the clue scroll, I have to leave Vorkath. But I'm very tempted to do it. Because we could get a weapon from there. I think you guys will hate me if I don't do it. So I am going to take the clue scroll as my loot from Vorkath and we are going to complete this elite clue. Please, please elite clue. Give me something. Okay, I think this may be the last step. We've really been pushed the whole way here. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Come on. I need a weapon in here. I need a weapon in here. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. That's so bad. Oh, that's horrendous. At least I've got some plate legs. Oh, fuck. Those of you who thought that was a little bit stupid, there was one, two, three, four. Four weapons that are one in 32. So it was quite likely I get at least one of those weapons. And then obviously there's all like the third age and the gilded weapons and stuff like that. Obviously, I'm not factoring those in. But yeah, it was like a 4 in 32 chance. And you obviously get like multiple different slots in the clue scroll as well. <sighs> oh, so it's a very good chance of getting a weapon, but unfortunately not. So now I need to uh, think. <sighs> and I've got 29 minutes to get a weapon. All right, guys, I'm going to do Scorpia. Drops 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different weapons. 
One of them being the Dragon Scimitar. I'm not expecting to get that because it's 1 in 1, 2, 8. I hate being in this. Can't cause... Okay, well, I guess we're just going with this then, aren't we? And instantly poisoned. Lovely. Yeah, I hate being in the world. You guys know that. Um, so, yeah, we are going to do this. See what happens. Hopefully, we don't get PK'd. Uh, I don't know if I should just be praying protect from melee. I don't really know. I probably should have brought... Um, what's it called? Some blood spells. But, oh, well. I've done like Scorpio like 10 times max. I, I don't know what my KC is going to be. My guy is healing now. It's all going down. I don't know why. I, I have no idea why he's healing. Do I have to attack these guardians? There we go. And we get a prayer potion. That is my 10th kill. There you go. I was exactly right. I've killed 10 or I killed 9 at the start of this. Um, I'm going to have to bring blood spells with me. Because this, this is just not going to work out. Um, so yeah. I'll probably do one more kill. Hopefully we just get what we need and then I'll be done. But yeah, I'll bring blood spells. If not, there's got to be a better method than this. What I'm currently doing and just like ice barraging the fucking little fuckers. <sighs> Room Warhammer. Uh, that's five tick. It's not ideal. It's not ideal, B's and G's. I am going to just try and eat these brews up and just stay here as long as possible. Because uh, I really don't have the time to be going back. And let's do that. And let's go again. So we can actually cast Ice Barrage. There we go. Rune Spear. <laughs> I mean, it might be better. Because I don't, I can't, can't currently have a shield. Uh, I'm going to try and do one more kill. I think this is a better method being in the corner. I get attacked less by the little ones. And we automatically kill these fuckers. So maybe this is just a method. This is not me thinking, oh, I've come up with a great method. This might just be the way people do it. But uh, that kill was way better. Way, way, way better. Come on. Rune chain body. Oh, my God. Um, guys, I might... Oh, fuck. I might bring the Torag hammers. I might bring the Torag hammers, wear the rune chain body. Because <sighs> the Torag hammers are fucking decent. Like, they're good, actually. Let's, let's just go this way. They're, they're good, you know? Uh, that's such a dilemma. Rune Warhammer, Rune Spear, Rune Chain Body, Torag Body are, th are the best, because I, I don't know. I'm going to call out Link here. I can't put down a cannon, because when Link was in America, at my place, he needed the cannon model. So I let him on my account real quick. You know, I logged him on, and he took out my cannon, exploded the model, and he never picked it up! He just left it on the ground! So now I can't lay one down because I gotta go speak to that dude. Link's sabotaging me right now. I can't believe this. I didn't even use my range pot. I'm sabotaging myself. There it is. We're locking it in. The Emmy of Strengthington. Okay, Telly. Uh, next up, I want to go for legs somewhere. And I think I might hit up the Muspa for that. They drop D legs, D skirt. I think they drop rune... Rune something as well that you can wear on the legs. Okay, a little rusty, but... Got it on the first attempt. It's been a very long time. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna take it. We're gonna take that. We're gonna take that. We are obviously gonna take that. It's my first kill. And it's mine. We're out. I... Ah, I'm so excited. The luck's coming back. Luck's coming back. This is actually gonna be my fifth crazy art kill. Ooh, rusty sword. Um, the reason why I didn't record myself coming here at first was because I wasn't sure I'd actually stay here. Um, I had a few options. Either I go for the rune crossbows, I go for a helmet, go for shields, or start going for my inventory. Inventory, I think, is going to be pretty easy. I plan on doing wildy bosses for that, and there is a ton of wildy bosses I can pick from, get a little bit of food, and then hop to the next one. So I'm not too worried about food as long as I have some time left over, and my uh, quick prayers are way wrong. But what I really don't like is that I don't have a helm and I don't have a shield right now for the fight. But I am thinking that bringing those Onyx Bolt tips to the fight are going to be so freaking crucial. And I think they're going to be so much better than that Dragon Long. I still will bring the Dragon Long. That's why I got the Strength Ammy. I sh I'm sure I might, you know, try a few hits, especially with the spec. Or maybe I'll run out of bolts. I mean, of course, I don't know the situation. I'm assuming Link's gear will be pretty good because it is bosses. So there is a genuine concern about running out of bolts. So it's good that I still have the Longsword, but I do want a main hand. 
the rune crossbow with the 25 onyx bolts enchanted that we got. And I was hoping that was gonna be it, but it is not. This is why this challenge is weird. Just got a power ammy last kill and I can't even use it because I'm not gonna lock it in. We're going for those rune crossbows. Rune crossbows are fucking bust. A fedora. <sighs> Come on, really? Fuck, that was with three potatoes. That drop ain't looking too bad now. I'll tell you that. I might need that. Might be locking that in. I'm running out of time. Honestly, guys, I have to leave. I'm just going to say the drop I'm locking in is the three potato with cheeses and the fedora. 42 kills. 42 kills. I'm not happy. So the first boss we're going to hit up is Calvarion. I'm going to be looking for any kind of blighted food. Any food we will take. As to the pots, you want a super combat and any sort of restore will be perfect. So, uh, hope we can find a world relatively quick. I would say this was the hardest one to find a world for because it's the closest to the bank. Maybe that and RDO. The others, I shouldn't really have much of a problem. Oh my god, Ancient Staff first drop. I'm not going magic, but that would have been stellar. Even for a melee weapon, it's actually not awful. I wish I got that first. Ooh, we get some Karambwans. We're gonna lock that in. That is five Karambwans. We're locking it in, and we're going to the next boss. Okay, I know the time is going, but the chance of me upgrading anything right now is pretty low, so I'm, I'm taking the time right now to work this out. Um, I guess this would probably be okay. That that That's stronger, but it's two ticks slower. The spear is four tick. But I could go with this, where we would lose, like... 50 defensive bonuses but oh my god i go up 49 crush attack or 49 in anything compared to the spear but we do lose 50 i mean if he's going crush I only lose 29 by going with the rune chain oh, i'm so tempted to go for that i think the, the warhammer's out it's that or that and I don't know which one I want. Uh, <laughs> um, I, uh, I think I'm gonna go this. I want. I want to use the Torag hammers. It's it's painful that I can't bring the Torag body, but I think I have to go with the best weapon here and try and just maximize our output of DPS. 85 crush. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can get a helm or something like that uh, in the last 14 minutes. All right, I'm going crazy archaeologist just because I had to go somewhere that's close and something that would drop something commonly, at least. Um, so yeah, we are going crazy arc for either the amulet of power or for the, uh, ooh, I guess, prayer pot as well. Amulet of power. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> okay. I didn't bring a telly out. That was silly. That was really silly. Right, I'm going to do a normal gauntlet. That's the, uh, that's the plan here. Nine minutes. I guess it's going to be more like eight minutes when I get in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this in time or not. Honestly, guys, I haven't done Gauntlet in like maybe a year plus, possibly longer than that. So this is going to be rusty as fuck. And obviously, we've got to do it in like eight minutes 30 or whatever. Um, there's no way I'm going to do a Corrupted Gauntlet. You can't get in that way? What What are you doing? Enter the Gauntlet portal. Oh, my God. I think my PB is like eight minutes in normal gauntlet or maybe that's corrupted i don't know i'm giving it a go i don't think this is gonna happen though piece of cheese but we will give it a go let's go all right i got three minutes to kill the hunleth i don't know how long it takes i can't remember but we've got a uh, perfected and an attuned bow or the, the staff perfected let's go in i sort of remember how to kill him but not completely so yeah we should be okay Boom. We're going to get it with a minute to spare. Yes, we are. Unreal. <laughs> okay, buzzing. New personal best as well. Wow. Okay. You can really see I haven't done Gaul in a while. Right, let's see what we get. <laughs> Brilliant. Could have done with a room full hell or something, you know. Visa G's. Let me grab all my stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'm so stressed about that. Okay, I know this looks like the same exact boss, but this is Vetion now. Not Calvarion, this is Vetion. So different guy, 
Better drops. Come on. Give me like a double food drop. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, 50 dark crabs? Oh my god, super combat. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, I'm on four doses. I'm on four doses. We're out of here. We're out. Go, 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 go. All right, we're at Spindle because we want to get a Blighted Superstore, plain and simple. Our first kill was Ranging Potions, which was a little sad. It was a little sad because, you know, that would have been an instant next boss type scenario if I actually had the Rune Cross but a ring to the fight. But I would love some prayer restoring. I thought about going to Zilly to try to get a Rune Kite, but the time it would take to gear walk up, I might only get like two kills, three kills maybe. Uh, we can use Ecumenical Keys, so I definitely would have gotten in there. I just don't think, I just don't think I could have pulled it off um, to get the Rune Kite. This is way more likely to get the Blighted Super Store. Now, if I can go back in time, I would have just locked in a Prayer Pot from the Crazy Arc. But of course, I didn't expect um, any of what happened to happen. I didn't start to go dry, that dry with the Rune Crossbow. Um, and I expected not to get 50 Dark Crabs. Um, in one drop. So that's why I was fully expecting to get a bladed superstore, but now I'm a little nervous. I should have just locked it in while I could, but it's fine. We still have 13 minutes left, and that's the only item I want left. So I think we can do it. And there it is. We're locking it in. The bladed superstore. Four minutes left. We could have gotten a few more kills, and it's like one out of seven or so for the or any restore, the normal or the blighted, and we just killed nine. So Let's just get out of here, guys. I don't know what I could do with four minutes left. The time I gear up or go anywhere, don't think I'm going to get a kill. So uh, I'm going to lock it in there, guys. Going to lock it in there. Let's get all of our gear together, and let's see what we're bringing to the fight. Oh, boy, do I look funny right now. I think we did very just average in this PvP challenge. I think we got lucky in some ways, and I think we got unlucky in other ways. Starting with our inventory, I think our inventory is completely fine. I think our inventory is stellar, but I do think the inventory is pretty easy to sort out in this challenge, so I think Link will be able to match me just fine on that one. Speaking of the gear, now the fedora, I'm gonna be wearing it to the fight because I think it's hysterical looking, especially with this setup. It just, it's just so ridiculous looking. But um, I think for magic defense, we are completely fine. For defense, we are definitely lacking a little bit. Thank gosh we got those dragon plate legs. Um, one kill at the Muspa. I mean, that was the saving grace of this episode or else I just would have been incredibly unlucky. Even something like the Dragon Longsword. I can't really say I got lucky because I actually got the Clue Scroll on kill like 18. Again, it was like 1 in 19 for the Longsword or the Axe. And then I spent so much time doing Clue Scrolls just to get three Dragon Longswords and nothing else I can bring to the fight. Because of those bolts, I went 42 crazy archaeologists dry. So it was a mess of an episode. We were all over the place. This is what we got though, guys. I, I'm still happy with the plan, just didn't come through, and that's okay sometimes. I still think we have a solid chance of winning this fight. Let's see what Link has, and let's hop in. Alright guys, this is the setup. Um, I'd be very, very surprised if he goes magic, because you'd have to like hit up multiple boss bosses, get runes from all of them, and then I just I can't see it happening. I can't see it happening. Range possibly but again you've got the problem with the ammo you need the ammo um from a boss and as soon as you take some ammo from a boss you have to leave um so yeah i don't think that's gonna happen either um so i'm fully expecting him to go melee i'd be surprised if he has a better weapon than the torag hammers fair play if he does but i think it's quite tough like if you go zilly or something to get a, a sword would be pretty tough um, and to be honest, I think a Dragon Scimitar is worse than this. So yeah, I, I think we're good. I think we're good with the weapon. The gear, a little bit sad I couldn't bring the Torag body, the Torag helm, because we would have been so tanky right now. Nearly completed a full Torag set in this video, which would have been pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we will see. I think I've done okay. Obviously, we've got the full Manta Rays, no prayer pots, nothing like that. Um, so if he's got a, if he's got a pot or a poison something we could be a little bit in trouble there but yeah i think i think i've done as well as i could 
with what I was given. Um, the Elite Clue not coming out for us at all. Um, and of course the gauntlet at the end, nothing there either. So I think I gave it a good go. Got a little bit unlucky with the RNG, but I guess we did do fairly well at Barrows as well. Uh, so yeah, let's see what happens. Let's jump into the fight. Feeling all right uh, about this one? Um, I, Ooh, that's a no. Without, without giving you stuff away, I'm a little bit... I'll tell you right now, I'm sad we had to move on. <laughs> that's what I'm <laughs> well, saying. Yeah, okay? that, that's the whole point of the challenge. I know, but... Like, I had to do it too in many circumstances. I, uh, <laughs> there, were, there was times where I wanted multiple things that I'd got, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, no, I'm I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. Okay. I'd like I'm 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 excited to get this one out of the way because uh, I think my gear is quite interesting. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> uh, well, hit us with the first item, man, and let's do this. All right. Let's go necklace. Ooh. Okay. 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 The power. I can only power guess eye. where that's where that <laughs> came from. <laughs> my boy, the crazy arc. Ooh. My guy. Uh, let's yeah. go. Let's go helm. I don't have one. Ooh. I did. I did get one, but I'm not able to bring it because I brought something else instead of it. Gives no stats and it's absolute fucking ban. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the old fedora. My my guy went and saw uh, saw the crazy arc as well. Oh, and little spoiler for your mm. episode, uh, Link. I also killed the crazy arc, and I got one in that episode too. Wow! I won't say what else I got, but I do kill the crazy arc, no and I do get a fedora. Way. Yes, That's and I mad. filmed them the same day, and I was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What in one two eight in it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, my guy's on a fedora. Like. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go legs, mate. Oh. Oh. Mm, ooh. Uh -oh. Okay, okay, okay. Not ideal. Not ideal. Uh, one ticked uh, him. You fucking One ticked him at, at, at Muspa. Oh, nice. Muspa one tick. The old. Uh, I was going for a menace, shield, man. I think. I was going for a shield, right. but, you know, mm. this ca this came up and I was, you know, I <laughs> wasn't going to yeah, say man, man no. Man takes that. Yeah. You take that. Are so. they still dropped in threes or whatever it is? No, fucking it's ridiculous. two now. Right. Three okay. was a bit oh, OP. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank God it's only two. Fuck's sake. Okay, all right. Your pick? Uh, I think I said legs, not gonna lie, mate. Oh, right, it's my pick. Uh, yeah. Let's go body. Okay. Ooh. Uh, what's he got? What the... Ooh. A bit of a Rangington bear here, deranged I think. Deranged arc. Okay, he went over to the deranged. Yep. Interesting. Kids, I'm not gonna lie, I've just got a weapon. So do I. Wow, okay. Alright. So, right. so that scares you a little bit because uh, we, we both look so stupid. We, yeah, we do look ridiculous. I mean you you I, I I look before, really but, stupid. I mean, I'm not in the same league as that. Oh but yeah. god. Okay. Okay. Alright. We'll do a countdown. Yeah, you wanna count us in? Alright. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god. Oh, Kins. Kins. Oh my god, Torag Hammers. Dude, 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 dude. Yeah. I also got a Torag body and a Torag helm. I got three Torag items. Whoa, what? Like. But. Oh, wait. So then you decided not to keep those? I was, I was like, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. And I chose the hammers. Right. So I wasted a lot of time, but I effectively was like. I need I need a weapon that can actually do because dude after that I can't remember because we filmed this a few days ago I think it was like maybe a rune longsword was my better weapon or something along those lines so I had to take the uh, the Torag hammers right yeah weapon was a tricky <sighs> one Link yeah I was killing Vorkath elite clue scroll got me the D long no oh. and then I got a master from that elite and then no. yeah. So, oh, and then I got two more dragon longs from that clue and 26 onyx rune, uh, you know, tip bolts enchanted. No way. And I go overdrop rate and do not get the rune crossbow. I get the fucking fedora hat. Oh. 
Yeah. Uh, so I had, like the black dehyde body. I got the dragon legs. And I'm thinking like, yeah, I'm going to have the D log in the fight and a, a rune crossbow. I'm going to, I'm going to make you feel better about your clue though, dude. I got an elite from Vorkath as well. So I left Vorkath. Um, and I got nothing but rune plate legs in there. No weapon, nothing Ooh. else. The only thing from there was rune plate legs, which is great. I still got it rune is, plate legs. It is, but, it is. But, but I needed from, a weapon. But from know? Vorkath to give up Vorkath <laughs> yeah. for rune plate legs, yeah, that yeah. that could be a bit like, yeah. yeah. This is gonna be an interesting yeah. one. <laughs> this, this is gonna be weird. I don't know which way this sways. But, oh, uh, let's get the invo. Let's get the invo. All right, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I think I've got a pretty good inventory. Okay. I, I think I've got a pretty good inventory. Okay. Okay. The old blighted. Where'd that come from? Uh, spindle. Ooh, my guy went and saw spind. And kids, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I just have one item, so I don't know if you've got oh, multiple Oh, right. I, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. And Venge. It's going to be Venge. It's not. It? It's not Venge. It's not Venge. What is it? It's not Venge. I think it's better than Venge, personally. I'd rather both, but... Okay. Oh! Okay, that's huge. That's really big. I think that oh. was Calvarion. I, I don't... I was, oh. was one of the wieldy bosses, obviously. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to guess that was... Zora. Yeah, my girl. My girl. Dude, you know, I, I, actually, her. I actually kind of fucked myself a little bit on the food situation, because I was going to boss hop... Uh, all the wildy bosses and get food and I was like running pretty low on time right. but I got a 50 dark crab drop oh my god it saved me man because I would have brought like uh... there, there would have been missing things in my inventory for sure if I didn't get that huge dark crab uh... drop so I, I definitely had a little bit of luck at the end there Mm, all right. I mean, I went Zora because it's one in ten, and I was like, mm. "Fucking with a Tebow and fucking Fire Surge, it takes like fuck all time to get." So yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Ah, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Like, I think the last time you had a D long in a fight, you just kept hitting with the specs. So I hope I have that RNG. Good luck on the specs, dude. I has anyone bought Torak Hammers to a fight before? I, I, I feel don't like think so. I don't think so. This could be this could yeah. be a first. Let's let's find out if this is gonna be the uh, the beast, you know. Let me know oh. end with that two second warning. All right, two second warning, G. You ready? Yep. Let's do it. All right. Okay, it's not a solid start. <laughs> oh come on! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to complain. Actually, you did complain. You fucker! Oh, let's oh my go. god! No. D log meta. Okay. To be fair, the Torak hammers for for what you've been hitting, they've been they've been they, they've, been they've been all clapping right. back. They've been clapping back, mate. So we were talking about this before we started the recording. They both are five tick, so yeah. and the stats are very similar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh yes, they're out for blood, mate. I have a super defense in this super combat. How come I'm, how come I'm not... Come on, be tanky. Well, be you're tanky. not taking into account that the Torag hammers have been waiting like 500 <laughs> years to what be used. What is you know? this? Come on. Oh, this is bullshit. I do have party oh on, God. right? I do. What the fuck? On, I, I am on a train. I'm going to Cincinnati again, oh, baby. Oh, <laughs> he's, he's not referencing Brown Town in two <laughs> PvP challenges in a row. Yeah, it's a little... That we Easter egg for everyone to watch. Both, you know? <laughs> well, I it's not going to be an Easter egg if you say it every single time. <laughs> uh, oh, I mean, man. it's not much of an Easter egg now that we've spoken about it. Yeah. Either, yeah. So <laughs> I, I put it down to you. You ruined the Easter egg. Oh, screw you. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. You're doing so well, Torag Hammers. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, definitely eat. Definitely fucking eat. And again. You should definitely put on uh, Preserve. I guess I can just repot as well. <laughs> I have four fucking doses. I was about to go. Oh yeah, I should. Put oh my god, the specs! Well. The yeah, specs are kill, unreal. Man. What is it? Yeah. Only twenty-five percent extra accuracy? No, it just Apparently says twenty-five percent more damage. I don't even know if it's more accurate. I'm like just assuming it is. I mean, surely they would write it. Usually they write it. That is true. Come on, <gasps> bro. Where are these? Okay. You, you, okay. All right. That uh, I'm feeling a little better now. Oh, oh no, I'm feeling I bet you're good. Feeling a fucking lot better. I'm feeling so much better now. Come on, super combat. Oh, that's better. Mm. That's more like it. 
Bro, if I had a super combat, this is over. Oh, this I, is I think done. you'd win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. Dude, I'm, dude, you might not even dude, need dude, it. You might win now. Oh what my the god. fuck. Dude, the Torag hammers. It was so hard what making the, the decision. Oh. It was so hard making the decision to leave the body behind. Ooh, well, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> what would you. Oh shit. Oh, fuck off. What would your other weapon have been? I, dude, I genuinely can't remember. But it wouldn't have been good. The specs. Oh. Come on again. I'm just not going on a train. I guess neither are you. We just get no. like a big hit and then it's just like yeah. a lull for a little bit. I'll try and fix that. How's that sound? Mm, by lowering your defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got some bruise on me. If that's cool. Oh my god. I cannot believe how accurate you are. Yeah, I'm actually buzzing. I'm actually quite like... <sighs> I'm like weirdly happy for the Torak Hammers. Does that sound weird? You know, like I, I, well, I mean, it, I guess it's hard for me to feel that right now, but <laughs> yeah. I, I do know what you're saying because yeah, I, yeah. I, like, this is like the early days. I won an episode with a Rune Two H, and it just felt unreal because <laughs> it's it like felt a, right. It, yeah, it's such an obscure, like, it's, it's a weapon you wouldn't normally bring to a fight. Yeah, and to oh, train. Oh, God, I think you've just turned this around in the Ooh. oh, okay, yeah, you definitely again. Have. Oh, little train, little oh, train. Okay, okay, Lily's coming okay. Back. okay, clap back, clap back, clap back. Back to back 30s would be great. We're going to find Link on Twitter later, adding Jagex Ash on, on why don't the Tori cameras hit twice <laughs> or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, can we add spikes to the top of the Tori cameras, you know? Yeah, legit. If anything needs a buff, it's that. Yeah. I think you've got this. I genuinely think you've got this. Every time you say that, I feel like you hit me. Oh, oh my god. god, okay. There's 40 damage right there. Don't know how much fucking food you have. Oh, oh trading blows. It's not what I want right now. Ooh, Where's my zero. train? That that I mean you'd love to see that, because that thing's been a fucking beast. Yeah, <laughs> this thing you. has been mental, yeah. Nice. Oh Come on, one more of those and we're back in it. Oh, one. <laughs> you oh, literally one. said one more. <laughs> uh, oh, that's bad. That's fucking bad. Fucking hell. Come on, where's the fucking Oh, a 33. Oh. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, don't. Thank don't. you. Thank you. Again. Uh, a four. Okay, at least I'm hitting. Oh man, I'm so upset. I feel like I've lost it in the last quarter of the fight. <gasps> oh my oh, god, I should, on, have, I should have eaten there. I should have eaten. Big. Hit. <gasps> nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is he Grow out? up. Grow up. <gasps> Grow Please up. Be out. Please be Grow out. Up. Oh my god, Grow he's up. out. Thank fuck. Thank fuck he's out. Oh, just finish him. Please, for the love of God. No! For the love of no! all that is mighty no! in this world. Oh, just fucking... A four! No! At least hit a 20 or something. Man's panicking. He's Fuck. running everywhere. Oh, my God. I'm out! Piss mate. Piss mate. I have no food! No, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I think that's one of those fights. You run it again, I reckon it can go either way. Fuck! Well, I'm I'm already tipping the fedora. I'm already tipping. Oh, the, I'm fuck already off with tipping your fedora, the fedora. You end. Fuck's sake, <laughs> guys! There is another close fight over <sighs> on Link's channel. If it's not out yet, it'll be out in a couple days' time. So go check it out, and um, you'll also see me get a fedora over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the selling point. <laughs>